Michelle, different background. Where are you? <laughs> we are um, actually moved into the summer cottage. Um, I know I haven't talked to you guys in probably about three weeks. It's been a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, done the um, the home in Madison is ninety eight percent empty. The U-Haul has been brought out east to bring in stuff to my children. And you drove it? I drove it. Something First I time did. ever? First yeah. time ever? Yes. Okay. I up with a six by 12 and my car was packed and I couldn't see out the windows. I had a look. Yeah, it was, it was a 20 hour ride. That was, I did it. And when I got to my youngest son's house, his was the first stuff I dropped off. I said, well, that's off my bucket list that I didn't even know was on my bucket list. <laughs> um, so that was complete. Um, so all of that has been done. And I am now in this location. For those of you that are wondering, the vase <laughs> is in a pile in my garage, still at the Madison home, because for this month of June, we still have that location. And in the end of June, we have to drive to Florida to meet the movers down in Florida. And so the vase will be going in my car and down to Florida. Um, at the very last moment, it took me that long to decide. And I know many of you have commented on it, and I love that. Thank you for your comments on it. Um, and at the last moment, I decided it just brings so many memories. And it's a small piece that is coming with me. So it will be coming to Florida with me. So I am now in my um, uh, summer location, which is a family um, cottage Um that's been in Pete's family for a while, many years. And you would think, wow, you made it, Michelle. <laughs> Everything's done. Yeah, no. <laughs> I thought I decluttered and I decluttered and I decluttered and I decluttered and I said, okay, I have brought enough stuff and I have made that split and I've done well. And I have really had to sit down with myself and have a moment because I'm still sitting in a lot of crap, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. So it's more personal stuff. It's more got to do with clothing and little things like that, that I am now at the point of if this piece doesn't fit me perfectly, and it doesn't bring me happiness when I put it on, it literally is going to leave this home because I'm done with the what ifs, when I get, mm. I might need, you know, I have some dresses that I might need this someday for that I had to do the dust off of that. <laughs> well, I haven't needed them since. And I know there's that saying, but you know when, the minute you throw it out or give it away, you're going to need it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Then I'll deal with it at that point. So I just, it's been an emotional roller coaster as you all have greatly been supporting me on this. But we are now down to that much. Like, I feel like I'm becoming a minimalist without becoming a min minimalist. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm. So let me ask you, Michelle, did you anticipate that there would be even more change after the change? I knew there was going to be change in my surroundings because it's a, a new home. And as I have commented before about I'm moving into a furnished home in both places. Um, so I knew that was going to be a change to get used to a new routine for myself and everything. But eliminating more of my stuff 
I did not realize I was going to have to do that. Mm. And it's not, mm. it's not, um, it's not like the vase, a personal item. It's more like, do I really need, I'll just say, I don't know if this is a true number. Do I really need 14 pairs of shorts? And do I wear them all? You know, you have the shorts that you bum around and clean the house in. And then you have the ones that, oh, I'm going to a picnic in. Or I have ones that I'm going to go golfing in or whatever. Do I need 15 of them? Don't I just need maybe two of each? Like, it's that whole mentality that I never had to think about before. And here's, I'm going to go a little, going to take a buff turn here for a moment, ladies, and bear with me. There's something that I realized about the items that I had that I accumulated through boredom. Mm. Through boredom? Through boredom. Oh. I'm bored and I lived in a very large city. Let me go shopping and see what mm. I can buy. Mm. And that hasn't fared well because now I am burdened with the stuff so it made me realize a lot about that and where I'm living now in this till September I'm gonna I thought I was gonna sneeze sorry <laughs> till I'm living till September for me to go buy something it's like a 45 minute to an hour ride mm. it's not something easily accessible to me Amazon doesn't deliver um, I don't try to do that. I like to like, that's, that's an easy five minutes out of boredom. <laughs> this was, I would go and like mm -hmm. dilly dally through TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Nordstrom Rack. You know, I love to find a deal or do whatever. And so that's been something that I've been really um, spending time with myself on and trying to understand where that boredom was and how I need to make some changes. And I thought I was good with sitting with myself and spending time alone. Mm. And I have, I have really changed a lot in the last couple of years. Excuse me. I can't, <laughs> I can't. In the last couple of years. Um, but this stuff is from back then from past post no pre pre-covid not post-covid so that's where I'm like huh you don't really need all those things and then it was always well I don't want that person to see me in the same thing twice I don't really give a crap anymore I don't if you're gonna see me in the same dress maybe a couple times this summer and you're gonna make a comment about it I don't think you need to be in my inner circle then. I know. Where did that come from? Because I still have that where I'm like, every time there's something I go, oh, I better, I better go out and buy something. And I'm like, why? Right. Mm. Why? Right. And I would not have that conversation. I would not think that of anybody else. So why am I having that thought about myself? If I don't have that thought about someone else, why am I? That's that. Yeah old people pleasing yeah I need to fit in I need to make everyone else like I you think about all that and I think as I've aged I'm like screw it nope I'm done with that if you don't like the way I dress and that's what you're gonna judge me on okay so that's really interesting are, are you dressing for yourself or are you dressing for other people yeah, because uh, I don't uh, like I don't associate with, oh, my God, I'm going out. I need to buy something new. It's like, oh, God, like I do not want to buy anything new under any circumstances whatsoever. What can I what can I wear? I mean, you know, sort of like I, I have one sweater that's really good. I'll buy four more because they're exactly all the same. <laughs> I don't have to think about it. You know, that's seriously same T-shirt four times over. It works perfectly. Um, yeah, I, I don't yeah. have that. So that's really interesting that both of you yeah. have thought from, from oh, day I'm one, like, from day yeah. forever, forever. Well, I think that's your, I your think mom. Mine was, mine was a little bit more 
actually it was a little more from my past relationship mm. from my toxic relationship because it was he always wanted me to look a certain way oh and it was certain things and and you know uh and always oh let me buy you that well, there was always a price to pay for that mm. you know and stuff like that so that mentality just like stayed and stayed and stayed and then I realized there was that boredom aspect of things and um and I do and like if I have to get dressed up I do have things to dress up in you know I do have that but it's down to like one or two items now mm. that's it I don't because I don't need to dress up anymore you know and that's not part of it and I always admired women that had a uniform or those capsule wardrobes. Like, I always admire that. Well, at almost 64, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I mean. It's that type of change. And, and I still am. Um, I have a new desk here that I am rearranging and doing things with and getting used to. And, um, but like I'm in an older home it's not something for me to decorate to my taste at this location but you know what right outside my back door is a beautiful lake mm. and if I had wi-fi out there you ladies would be seeing it right now mm. but we don't <laughs> wi-fi extender get it on amazon <laughs> <laughs> so it's now down to <laughs> that on a pair of shorts or I just use the shorts mm. for that and the workout gear and and you guys all know about my race and so when I go to my race that's a whole different climate so what I've done is I've packed up a box that is needed for there and I've sent it to my son so I'm thinking trying to think out of the box mm -hmm. and really think you know I um you know I I I don't begrudge or I think about anybody who likes to go shopping. That's not what I'm saying or to do any of that. I just realized I was using shopping to fill a hole. Mm -hmm. And that's what's dangerous. Mm -hmm. That's I think, thing. yeah, that's, I mean, we, I think we as humans um, do that and it takes the form of different things it could be shopping it could be uh binge watching it could be eating it could be drinking it could be like a whole range of things right to fill that hole of whatever it is that you're experiencing because we don't want to experience it we can't sit with that emotional processing we just can't do it um and i think a lot of that is associated with the digital age that we live in we don't know how to do it because we can get instant things right i mean scrolling on the phone all that kind of stuff it's uh it takes us out of whatever discomfort we happen to be feeling very quickly but on the other hand sometimes shopping is just shopping sometimes it's just well, yeah. i want to look fabulous i want to feel good and I enjoy putting it together or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying absolutely. you're not saying that. I'm just saying that sometimes there's not a hidden deeper meaning. Yeah. I just yeah. like to shop because I want to put this little outfit together. And absolutely. And I do still do that. I'm not saying I'm against shopping. That's not at all what it is. Um, but I also think, as you brought up, Tracy, on the digital age, we get into that comparison mode mm. or that, well, that's the trend. I need to have it. That, mm. as, that whole aspect. And I also, there was also a time and I know we veered from me decluttering, but um, when you thought if you had that new item or that most popular purse or those shoes or that whole thing, there was a happiness attached to it. Mm. And Tracy G, yes, having a cute outfit when you're going out with the girls or your other, your better half of, I, as I call them, or all of that and looking cute is a really good thing to feel that way. That is awesome. But not to try to keep up with the Joneses. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I think there's a, a line that you have to make sure you 
you draw for yourself. And if you can't draw that, that's where you need to do some deep journaling. Right. Because it's on anything, right? Like it, anytime you're trying to fill a hole with something, whether it's alcohol, shopping, I don't know, bad Eating. relationships. Even working out too much. Even if you work yeah. out too much, it's the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, anything in excess, mm -hmm. is, yeah. there has to be a why behind that. Um, on that. So, um, so yeah, there's more change coming. And it's not just the change in my um items to make my room feel less cluttered, our bedroom to feel less cluttered. It's also a change in my routine. To That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. It's, it's a whole change. Um, so I was one of those persons that did have a TV in her bedroom, in the bedroom, you know, and um, it was kind of like, because it was three levels and the whole thing. Well, we've opted no, because we're all on one level. It's smaller locations. We've agreed there will be no TV in the bedrooms. And so it's, that's a change for me. Like that has been a change. And what it has caused me to do is not binge watch. Mm. Not binge watch, you know, and it's to pick up books and read more and to do some of that. So there is a change in my routine that I'm fine. still need to find my ebb and flow. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with change. It brings growth. That's all it is. And it made me understand where I was binge watching again, replace it from the shopping aspect. And so um, it's just more growth coming. And that's okay. Every day with growth means you're not stagnant. And I'm just finding more and more of my potential. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Do you think there'll be more changes in, when you get to Florida? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, because that is more, that will be more of our home aspect. Mm -hmm. I think. And even though we've agreed for one year, we're not really changing anything mm -hmm. to get in, to get settled, to understand we did bring our bedroom set down. So that will be set up. Um, but all the rest of the furniture is pretty much staying there. And um, which I like that. I like that because I want to, I want to make sure any changes are the right changes. Yeah. I don't want to make changes. I'm a very fast, I'll make a change like that. And then it's not exactly what I want. Mm. So I have learned to take a step back, contemplate a little bit more deep breath and go forward so even where i'm going to work out like that whole thing is going to change it worked changed here also so it's just a whole new way of doing things and i'm okay with that that's great that's great change is hard for a lot of people i mean just i mean there's the change that we want to do because we want to become better but then there's the change that sort of gets forced on us that we don't really like right it's like right. oh I this is something new it's different I don't want to do it I don't want to be a part of it like like change can be very very difficult for some people to adapt to it it sounds like you're just going to be a change maker that's it <laughs> well it's a choice like every day you have a choice and I could sit and ruminate about what's wrong or I could try to understand why that's bothering me mm -hmm. and is it really bothering me or is it just because it's changing? You know, like, mm. like whatever, Good question. It, you know, and I don't think at times that we ask ourselves enough questions, you know, even for myself with my clients and with my um, Instagram page this month, I'm asking like three journal prompts every day. Just, and I told people, don't journal. Sit down with your other half if you want to and ask them these questions. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think we ask enough questions and we have enough conversation with ourselves and with other people. Mm -hmm. Like us. Like, we have our conversations, you know? Yeah, awesome. That's awesome. So what changes are coming into your lives soon, ladies? Any? Tracy G. 
Who me? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, traveling. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you this question. Has my force, because I was forced to declutter, inspire either one of you to do any decluttering or reevaluate your stuff? Yes, I have. Uh, well, I we actually put on an addition, an office addition, which is what I'm sitting in right now. Um, and as a result of that, um, because of where things had been set up and how everything was working, I had the opportunity. And that's what I will say. It was an opportunity. It wasn't something that I would have gone, oh, let, let me go through all of this stuff. Right. Because uh, it's the last thing I wanted to do. Um, but I was getting rid of things just like you, Michelle, I was getting rid of some furniture and some stuff. And I just thought, okay, I have to get rid of this stuff. I gotta, I gotta let it go. I gotta, I gotta say goodbye to all my files where I was in telecom and that was my business and my, my certainly my identity. Um, yeah. I had to say goodbye to all that. Mm -hmm. uh, that was hard. That it's definitely hard. was hard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I it's, have been there. Yes. Yeah. It, it's funny. <laughs> it's not. And I think it's only because my identity was wrapped up with that. It's not so much the files themselves, right? Like, you know, they don't really make a difference to anything, but it's just that you looked at the file. I remembered the job. I remembered the people I worked with. I, you know, it was like this whole thing. And that's what I did. That was my life. Right. As a major part of my life. So yeah, it was hard. So yeah, I have to get rid of a ton of stuff. I'm going to go off screen for a second. I'm not okay. Go. I'm going to show you ladies something. Okay. I'm going to see if I can find it here. I'm going to show in decluttering one thing I couldn't, I didn't get rid of. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to find it now. Oh. Don't know if I'm going to find it now. I thought I kept it. I'll have to look for it later. Um, oh, I found it. Hold on. I'm gonna show you. Oh, goodness gracious. Go to commercial break. <laughs> goodness gracious. I hope, I hope viewers, you enjoy our spontaneity okay <laughs> so you talk about your identity so i used to work for this company aw direct uh -huh. and we sold towing supplies to tow truck drivers that was my identity are you ready mm -hmm. okay i ah! was on the cover of the catalog oh my goodness that's awesome i can't throw it out of course not. That's worth keeping. That's worth keeping. That's fun. That is very so fun. That's very fun. fun. Yeah. So yeah. you can't yeah. throw you that should out. Take, you should take the, no, you should take the cover of it and put it into a frame and put it, <laughs> hang it up. That's, yeah. Probably I should. Yeah. I that's awesome. So I understand the identity and that's mm -hmm. a whole nother, probably another episode mm -hmm. that we yeah. can do yeah. about sometimes we, I think, how do I want to say this? Sometimes I think we put in our identity into roles that we have hmm. and the roles, how do I want to say this, are always the person we are. Mm -hmm. Oh, for yeah. sure. For sure. And we put identity into stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like giving up all the files and all that yeah. kind of stuff. It's like, oh yeah, this is, this, this is what I did. Yeah, well, I've like only got I've only got a couple of things left too. I've just got a I, I have a couple of awards that I I won. I remember them. Not that anybody who would look at this award would know that it was an award or anything else. Um, but yeah, I, I kept a couple of those. Um, but yeah, everything else is gone. So those those are my big uh, decluttering. 
things yep. that I had to do that happened to coincide with yours. So was it inspiration? It was out of necessity that I had to do this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I wouldn't have opted to go and do it all on my own. But I didn't either. Yeah. We chose, yes. well, I did yeah. because we chose to move. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, that part yes. I did. But I couldn't, I could have not chosen to make the move that we did and chose to purchase something where I could have brought all my stuff. Right, right, yeah. You know, in yeah. that aspect. How about you, Tracy G? You need to do any decluttering? I'd be working on it. I'd be, I'd be working on it um, gradually, just because, again, nothing pressing. But I, you know, we talked before about leaving stuff to your kids, and you don't want to leave that mess for them. So we've consciously looked through stuff of, getting rid of, you know, I'm, I'm was a paper hoarder where it's like, Oh my God, I don't, I better keep this. It's taxes of seven years, better keep 12. You know I, why just crap like that. And also going through stuff. I've gone through certain boxes where I've continued to save it for no other reason than I don't want to make a decision about it. And mm. I think, uh, um, because it's stuff again, that, uh, identifies me at a certain point in my life. And um, has some really heavy weight to it where I go, oh, yes, I remember this. I remember these moments. And I don't know, I have a, not a great memory. So I guess I fear that I'm not going to retain that information. I'm not really sure why. But there, it, and it's like, like if I showed you the box, you would all look and go, what the hell is this crap? But to <laughs> me, it's these amazing memories and amazing times of certain identities I had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and I don't think there's like it wouldn't be up to Tracy and I to tell you oh Tracy don't keep those it's, mm -hmm. it's time for you to get rid of them that's a personal choice mm -hmm. and um, I think in the episode with Tidy Dad that's something he brought up mm -hmm. even within his own home it, what you have in your home are things that bring you joy and, and are important to you because you decide to keep those items, that's your decision. Mm -hmm. It probably wouldn't be something that Tracy or I would keep. But with that said, it's just like, do I need 15 pairs of shorts in a place I don't have a place to store them? Right. Like, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, it's that type of expectation. Or is it, oh, I have all the space. I must fill it. But you know what's really interesting? I mean, I, as, as we're talking about this, um, like there are storage unit facilities everywhere. In fact, like that's like probably one of the best businesses you could jump into if you could buy one. Yeah. Um, because people don't want to get rid of their stuff. Yeah. And they will rent a storage unit and spend money every single month on a unit where a whole bunch of stuff sits and nobody ever sees it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think there's actually a, a, a TV program called Storage Wars or something like that, where people go in and like, you know, for some reason, the storage container hasn't been used for, I don't know, years, people have passed on, whatever, and they, they go in there to take off. Um, yeah, they take a look at their junk. I think I watched one of those shows once, and the yeah. stuff that was They in don't pay for it, so it's like they, um, they compensate. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it, it's amazing. It is. It is. So I guess my my uh, question to you, viewer, what are you hoarding? Let's say hoarding. <laughs> get more hoarding. I'm going to use it. What are you keeping that you can't make a decision on? Like what's mm. hard for you to make a decision on when it comes to whether you should keep it or not? And again, we're not going to tell you whether you should keep it or not. That's not our decision. That's a decision only you can make. But maybe we can help you work through it mm. on why you're keeping certain items or things like that. And let us know. Let us know. Comment below. And don't forget, every Wednesday we have a new episode. So make sure you hit notification that um so you know when 
the new episode has come up. I love on Wednesdays when I see that come up for myself and share this with a friend and make sure you subscribe. Until then, have a great day. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you as a regular member of our community.